Hey everybody, welcome back to another creative tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about the mirror functions. Really simple tools. This video won't be long. Let's make our new file. The first mirror function is the horizontal, which is right here, and the vertical is right next to it. As you can see, a dark gray dotted line shows up, which is showing you the origin of where your um, mirror function is going to be. So if I start making like a square, it's a horrible, horrible square, but it's a square. You can see that it's duplicating right here. It's not going off, to, you know, far to the left or far to the right. It's right here in the middle of my canvas. Now, if you're going to be doing some symmetry, and you want to use a mirror function somewhere else in the canvas, all you have to do is click this little white button here and drag it and move it wherever you want. Now, moving this up and down isn't really going to do anything except move it out of your way of drawing. So if you want to draw up here, you can move this button down here and then, you know, make whatever you need to do. And if you want it to stay in that spot and you don't want to accidentally, um, you know, just if you're like me, you always click and drag by accident on stuff and you move it, you can always lock it. So by clicking this little arrow key and hit lock, that white button goes away. So no matter what I do, it's always going to give me a symmetry right here in this area. And if I um, don't want to see it at all, I can just hide it. So I, I won't be able to move it either, but I can at least get off my screen entirely. So we're going to move that back. And then if I'm done in this section of the canvas, I don't want it back there anymore, I can move it back to the canvas center. Now, if you want to move this back to where I ha you had it in a different spot of the canvas, unfortunately you're not going to be able to automatically put it there. You're going to have to manually move it there and kind of eyeball it. But it's really not too hard to figure that out. Or to, to put it back where you want. And the vertical symmetry is the same way. It's just, you know, going from the top to the bottom. So, uh, I don't know what you would want to draw. I mean, there, I'm sure there's some, oh, I guess you can do weapons. Like, if you're drawing, like, a sword, and, like, okay, well, this is cool, and I want to do, like, this, this is a really bad sword, but you get the idea. Uh, make it fancy, get some spikes, there we go. Let me erase that, puts that in the way, oh, maybe, or maybe it's fighting a box, why not? As you can see, the symmetry isn't really matching up, but that's fine. And so that's pretty much it for it. And then all the features are the same for the um, vertical as well. You can hide it, uh, you can unhide it, lock it, and then move back to the canvas center if you've already moved it. So that's pretty much it for the mirror functions. They're very simple and they're actually pretty flexible for whatever you need to use them for. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below. Uh, make sure to like this video if you did like it. If not, please tell me why. And then subscribe to my channel to make sure that you're not going to be missing the next tutorial or art video or workflow tips or whatever it is that I will be releasing. Hope you guys have a good one and I will see you in the next video.